Hello, this is Time Speed and Distance Lesson 7.1. In this, I will discuss the questions on non circular races. These questions are based on the concepts that I discussed in the previous lesson. Now, what you need to do, you need to pause the video, try to solve each and every question in this lesson first by yourself, then look at the way I have solved. In this way, you will practice the question online. These questions all are a bit bit different type so that all kind of question should be practiced by you. So how you need to solve the question? You can solve the question either with the help of concept or option or logic or assumption depending upon question to question. And you have to write minimum and think maximum no need to cram the formulas. You have to solve by logic and concept that I discussed in the previous lesson. First question I'm going to solve here is that A runs 8 by 5 times as fast as B. If A gives B a head start of 360 meter, A is giving B a head start of 360 meter. So B will be at 360 meter. Where will be A? A will be at 0 meter. How far must the winning post be? Where should be this winning post? Can I say let's assume that winning post is here. How much distance? We don't know. So let's assume that this winning post is x meter away from b. This distance we know this distance is 360 meter. So we need to calculate the value of x. What is given to us? The ratio of their speed. A runs 8 by 5 times as fast as b. Now if we assume that b speed is 1 meter per second, what will be a speed? Speed of B, if you assume that 1 meter per second, would be the speed of A? 8 by 5 meter per second. But here you can see that fractions are coming. So in quant, always try to avoid the fraction. So I will assume that speed of B as 5 meter per second. Why 5? Because if you will take the speed of B as 5, what will be the speed of A? Speed of A will be 8 by 5 times of speed of B. That is 8 meter per second. Now your both the speeds are integers and the question will be solved in less time as compared to 1 and 8 and 1 and 8 by 5. So that's the advantage of solving taking assumptions that are convenient to us. You need to always avoid the fraction. Now what the question say that winning post we need to calculate distance x so that a and b would reach there at the same time. It means that both a and B are reaching the winning post in the same time. Time is same. Now what is time? Time is distance upon speed. In this T time, both A and B are reaching the winning post. Now time is distance upon speed. Distance by A to reach the winning post. A need to cover 360 plus X meter distance because A will start from zero. What is the speed of A? Speed of A we can take. 8 we have taken 8 what about B in the same T time the same T time B is covering X meter in order to reach the winning post and the speed of B is 5 solving this you get cross multiply you can get 1800 plus 5x is equals to 8x so 3x is equals to 1800 x is equals to 600 it means that the distance x was 600. If distance x is 600, total distance winning post from the 0 should be how much? 600 plus 360, 960 meter. That is your last option is the final answer. 960 meter should the winning post be so that both will reach at the same time. Now important concept I need to tell here is you can we have taken speed as 5 and 8. You can take speed as 10 and 16, 50 and 80, still the answer will be same. There will be no difference in the answer. The only thing is that speed must be in the ratio 8 is to 5. Question 2 is, in a race, Ajay gives Vijay a head start of 300 meter, still beat him by 100 meter. If speed is, Ajay's speed is 11 by 7 times of Vijay. Now first thing here, Speed ratio is 11 by 7. You can assume any values which are there in 
ratio 11 is to 7 so you can assume that speed of ajay s a s 11 meter per second speed of vijay s 7 meter per second you can take 22 and 14 110 and 70 as per your convenience now question says that ajay gives vijay a head start of 300 meter so vijay will be at there at 300 meter ajay will start the race from 0 meter this distance is 300 meter this is the initial position now the race will start after the race has started who won the race a ajay beats vijay by 100 meters so ajay will be here after finish the ring winning post where will be vijay vijay will be 100 meter behind ajay so what distance vijay covered vijay only covered this x meter in how much time let's say in t time in t time vijay covered this x meter in the same t time in the same t time ajay covered this complete distance from 0 to winning post so time is same what is time time is distance upon speed how much distance vijay is covering vijay is covering x meter distance speed of vijay is 7 meter what about ajay ajay is covering 300 plus x plus 100 ajay is covering 400 plus x 300 plus x plus 100 400 plus x and his speed is 11 cross multiply you get 11 x is equals to 2800 plus 7 x so you get 4 x is equals to 2800 x is 700 the distance x came the 700 now what was the question what is the length of the race length of the race will be x value is 700 this x value is 700 meter so 700 meter plus 300 meter 1000 meters plus 100 meter 1100 meter that is option number 5 will be your final answer so in this way you can solve this question in exam it won't take more than a minute to solve this question third question is in a 1000 meter race a beats b by 200 meter and c by 300 meter now the race length is given to us 1000 meter this is winning post this is the starting position all started simultaneously when a is at 1000 meter it means a has won the race where will be b a beats b by 200 meter b will be 200 meter behind b will be at 800 meter this distance is 200 meter same a beats c by 300 meter so if c will be 300 meter behind this is 200 this would be 100 meters so c will be at 700 meter question is in the same race b will beat c by how many meter now most of the students in generally in hurry uh, give the answer as 100 meter answer is not 100 meter because b beat c means that b completed the race where will be c then so we will calculate b and c when b covered 800 meter c cover how much 700 meter as you can see this in the above diagram when b cover 1 meter how much distance will be covered by c c will cover 700 by 800 meter when b cover 1000 meter it means that when b will complete the race then only we can we will say that b beat b beat c means that b has completed the race when b cover 1000 meter it means that b will complete the race where will be c c will be at 700 by 800 into 1000 this 00, zero cancel 8 this is 125 this is 875 it means that when b will complete 1000 meter when b will complete 1000 meter when b will be there at 1000 meter where will be c c will be at 875 meter so what the question says that b beat c by how many meter answer is 125 so b will beat c by 125 meter so this kind of question you can solve in less than 30 seconds in exam question 4 in a 1000 meter race a beats b by 300 meter and c by 350 meter in a 1000 meter race this is a a is at 1000 meter a won the race where is b b is 300 meter behind that is at 700 meter this is 300 meter behind where is c c is 350 meter behind this is 650 meter this is 50 meters question says that in a three 3500 meter race b will beat c by 
how many meters now race is of not 1000 meter race is of 3500 meter so we will compare b and c when b covers 700 meter what a cover c cover c covers 650 extra distance by b extra distance by b is 50 meters you can simply say that when b covers 700 plus 700 two times how much c cover c cover 650 plus 650 now how much extra would be 100 meter so if we, if b will cover 700 five times c will cover 600 50 five times so gap would be how much 50 into 5 every 700 and 650 the gap is 50 five times the gap is 50 into 5 250 meters so 250 meters will be our answer that is option number 5 important that question was not difficult the important thing that how you can solve this question in least amount of time i can solve this question verbally because when b is covering 700 c is covering 650 that gap is of 50 meters for every 700 meter covered by b c will cover 650 so when b will cover 700 into 5 that is 3500 meter c will cover 650 into 5 the gap will be 250 meter i can solve this question in exam in less than 20 seconds that what that is what you need to learn this co these questions are not difficult the objective is that in how much least time you can solve this kind of question with logic assumptions concept and options without cramming the formula fifth question in a 1000 meter race a beats b by 200 meter in a 1000 meter race this race is 1000 meter a beats b by 200 meter b will be at 800 meter this distance would be 200 meter in the same race b beats c by 300 meter when i say b beat c by 300 meter it means that b has finished the race b is at 1000 meter where will be c c is at 700 meter this distance is 300 meter now we will now in this second diagram b is at 1000 meter c is at 700 meter if we calculate the above diagram b was at 800 meter now if b was at 800 where was c that is what we need we will calculate we know that b c whenever b is covering 1000 meter c is covering how much 700 meter if b will cover if b cover 1 meter c will cover how much 700 by 1000 meter now in the above diagram b is covering 800 meter where will be c cancel you this 560 meter c will be at 560 meter it means that when b was at 800 when b was at 800 then c was at 560 in the above diagram put the value when b was at 800 c was at 560 when b was at 800 c was at 560 now please don't mark the answer as 560 the question is not asking about where was c the question is asking a b c by how many meters so this gap is 440 meters so a b c by 440 meter that is option number d now in this questions come in exam what kind of mistake student does first mistake they simply say that a b c by 200 b b c by 300 a will b c by 500 option number 1 is given they tick the answer and the answer is wrong second mistake student do is that they tick the answer as 560 because C is at 560. The question not not asking where is this C. Question is asking how much distance A will beat by C. Answer is 440 meters. So these are small mistakes that student commits while solving the question. You have to be very very careful. Read the question carefully in order to solve. These question I discuss are easy to medium type, but the objective is to solve this question in least possible time with logic, concept, option, and assumption. That was. all about time speed and distance lesson 7.1 in this i discussed five questions practice this learn this in the next lesson i will continue with more questions on this only topic thank you